I see exactly what's going on, man. I see exactly what's going on right here. I know exactly what's going on. Moses, everything in reality must separate. Everything that exists, everything that exists in reality, and re reality itself must separate. Think about it. When you move from one thought to the next, your mind had to separate from that aspect to that aspect. You don't do it simultaneously. You cannot exist in two or three or four different times in different spaces at the same time. You must separate from one position to another position. This is called life. When you're born, you must separate from heaven and you must come to earth. When you die, you must separate from earth and you must come to heaven. When you dream, your mind must separate from this reality and go to some random reality. Separation is essential. Separation is, is inevitable. So therefore, people must separate. Now you must separate in different aspects as an individual, as a group, as a country, as a nation. You must separate from one time to another. You can't stay in the 50s and 60s. The world moves on to different uh, tastes, to different styles, to different attitudes, to different cultures. This is this is this is essential for development. This is this is how we tell time. The clock moves from one position to the next. This is how time even is this is how time was even discovered. Because regardless of if you even want to or not, time will happen. Separation will happen. The sun moves. The shadows come. The light and the darkness is in an endless cycle. We separate. The world separates. And we inside the world must also separate in order to exist, in order to consume. Separation happens. And the purpose of this discussion is black people in America must determine and decide when, where, and how we separate. Because separation, they will separate from you or you got to separate from it. It's, in, it's inevitable. You know. You don't want to sit around waiting too long until you're evicted. You're kicked out. You don't want to overstay your welcome. And you don't want your position to be taken by somebody else. Because two different people can't occupy the same space at the same time. You know, we're being replaced in America, black people, by immigrants. We're being replaced by Caucasians. We're being replaced by colored people, people of color. They're taking our position. What are we going to do about it? The, the best thing to do is to say, okay, this is natural. This is happening. This is inevitable. But we, cho we choose to separate. You can have that position. But you can't have our territory. You can't have our land. You can't have our piece of the earth that we built, we developed, we cultivated. You could keep the title, but go build your own city. Build your own community. Build your own culture. We need our own nation. We need to elect our own leaders, our own teachers, our own businesses, our own everything, hospitals full sovereign autonomous control over these institutions this is our right as people natural people human beings of God do not we cannot continue to allow ourselves to be slaves and subjects 
to a people, a foreign, wicked, demented people. A predator has us in the chicken coop waiting to consume, fattening, fattening ing us up, waiting for the slaughter. We're being consumed by the entire world. We are the primary dish, a five course meal. We're being consumed spiritually, mentally, culturally, religiously, our territory, our bi accomplishments, buildings, institutions, everything is being consumed and they are not paying us. We are not being compensated by them using our culture, our territory, our space. They are just exploiting and stealing, deceiving my people, the Mississippian people, the builders of the world, the builders, the architects, the designers, the scholars, the researchers, everything above, the physicians, the philosophers of all time, we must separate. Moses means separation. In biology, there's a uh, process called osmosis in which the body separates minerals, distributes waste, distributes nutrients. It separates the food that you consume. It distributes glucose. It distributes fats. It distributes resources. It separates and everything that's not utilized, not it, that, that's not needed, that's, that's useless, it either is stored in fat cells for, for future use or is discarded as waste material. And that waste material is to be ejected back into the planet Earth to be recycled, to grow other materials. It's endless cycle of separation. And we must also separate Moses is a, a key principle spoken of in the Bible in which you integrate it with a culture. You improve the culture. The culture benefited from your blessings. But it's time for you to separate. Let them keep with the, let them keep that. But the source is you. You're the goose that lays the golden egg. You could build a better uh, society, a better culture, a better structure. They could tear down our structures that our ancestors built. But we have the blueprint, the design to build better, to build more richer prosperity for our people. But you need courage. You need courage. Courage is knowledge. Courage is essential. Without courage, you will never separate. You will be stuck in the nest with your mother if you was a bird. And two full grown birds cannot coexist in the same nest. Somebody got to go. Somebody got to get up out this nest. Go get your own nest. But you don't have the courage to jump. You don't have the courage to fly, to uh, establish. You want to stay uh, slaves. Just like in the book of uh, Exodus, the children of Israel prefer to be slaves, second class citizens, hewers of wood, choppers of stone for the Egyptians because they was secure. They didn't want to be in the wilderness eating manna, depending on the Most High. They didn't want this obligation, this responsibility, this burden. So they had to, they tried to go to war with Moses, with separation. You can't go to war with separation. You must move from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock. You can't stay at 1 o'clock all day you go from one o'clock two o'clock to three o'clock to four o'clock 
you must adapt to each uh, mode of separation when the sun moves out of your vicinity you must adapt to the darkness you must turn on the lights this is predictive you can predict the next move because separation is inevitable inevitable we move from summer to winter you don't want to wear shorts and a bikini when it's the winter because you will perish you must adapt to the separation you must embrace the separation prepare for the separation you must dominate and conquer the separation or you will be conquered you will be destroyed or consumed you will be cooking in a pot of your oppressors you will be stripped of your fur you will be destroyed if you don't separate if you don't embrace the separation if you don't uh, perpetuate the separation in preparation for what's to come this is playing chess you gotta move 10 steps ahead of your opponent your enemy your enemy will never anticipate you instigating and uh, perpetrating the separation the preemptive strike you must attack before the enemy attacks because your separation is already determined your separation is to be in the mass grave of extermination your replacements are already here they're just determining how when and where they will destroy you they will annihilate you but you must move before that happens and say we have our own nation we're the builders we're the creators we could go anywhere on the world but we want our own nation we want our own institutions our own governance our own constitution our own land our own territory we don't want to be subjected to Nazi Germany America building the ovens the abortion clinics mass genocide bringing the immigrants bringing the world to come to consume us separation is necessary separation is essential Moses is necessary you must split the Red Sea and cross over into the wilderness you can't stay in Egypt you can't stay in a house of bondage you can't stay in your mama's house you can't stay in one o'clock you can't stay in a position because ch change and separation the blood cells separate and grow and divide when you actually produce a baby it multiplies and grows separates from the mother's womb the baby cannot stay inside the mother past nine months it must separate this is reality 